guys, it's Clay. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, we're going to be doing a quick little video. This is uh, just another submission uh, that's going to SGC, of course, and uh, Boca Raton SGC card grading submissions uh, is the folks that are going to be uh, sending it in for me. Um, so let's quickly, it's all Otani, by the way, it's all Otani. Uh, so let's just go through them. You may have seen them if you've seen other previous videos of mine. Uh, but uh, we'll start off with this one. Um, I'm also going to give predictions, and um, this one is most likely going to get a 9.5. Uh, the centering is beautiful. I actually did, uh, since my last video, did get a centering tool. If you don't have one of these, if you're if you're serious about submitting cards, you need to get one of these because yeah, you can tell how far just by using your eye. Uh, that it, it seems like it's off uh, center, but you don't know to what degree and how it's going to affect the grade. Here, this will give you kind of a scale. If it's uh, if mine are off center, they're usually two to three, two and three. Um, so that's 60, 40, and uh, that automatically knocks it down to like a nine. Uh, so that'll affect my predictions uh, for these cards, because some of these... Um, are off center, but I think they're worth grading uh, anyway. Uh, this one is not off center. Uh, it just has that little bubble thing right above the right above the rated rookie thing. I don't know if you can see it. It's otherwise a really good looking card, so I think it'll most likely uh, get a nine five. So let's just do that. Um, this one is the one that's 60-40 uh, off-center. You can see it left to right as well as top to bottom is probably 45-55. Uh, uh, either way, it's probably going to get a 9. Um, this one's uh, pretty good, actually. Uh, it's not the refractor from the previous one, uh, but it's still a pretty, pretty highly uh, sought-after uh, card. I'm going to give it a 10. Uh, this one, again, not the, the most expensive card, but it is uh, most likely going to get a 10 from everything I've seen. And I'll probably just flip it and put it towards another card that I want. Uh, this is the paper version. I sent in the Chrome with the last submission. Uh, this one looks really, really sharp. I didn't see anything on it. I think it'll most likely get a 10. Uh, these three right here, uh, the obviously the base, you have the blue and the black of the Legends in the Making. Uh, they all look uh, perfect. Um, the centering's great on all of them. The corners, everything looks great. So um, I'm thinking this will be 10, 10, and 10. And getting back to the nines, uh, appropriately numbered. This is most likely going to get a nine, but it's numbered out of 10. So I'm most likely going to get uh, a nine out of this just because of the uh, the fact that it's off-centered uh, top to bottom. Left to right, it's right on. So hopefully that might affect it. It might bring it up to a nine five. But uh, I, I looked on the SUC website. It, it looks like whenever they go uh, 60, 40 like this, uh, you're starting at nine. Uh, even if it's left to right, it's, you know, right on. It's still going to be a nine. And then any other blemishes will take it down from there. Another one uh, that uh, is kind of top to bottom. You can see, like, this is where uh, it should be here. So this is, I would call this off center. Uh, probably 60, 40 as well. Um, most likely we're going to get a nine here. There's nothing really else wrong with it. Now this one is actually centered quite well. Um, it's probably going to get a 10. And then my final one, this one uh, is centered really well. I think left to right, it might be 55, 45, but that won't keep it from getting a 10. The only thing that will keep it from getting a 10 is these little bitty white edges. And, and on these, you know, <laughs> On these uh, color parallels like this, uh, they really kind of show up more so than if it were uh, white. Um, so 
again, that'll probably knock it down to a 9.5. Uh, but that's it, guys. I'm still waiting on the uh, previous submission to get here. If I'm really good, I'll not look at the uh, results and make it a blind reveal and hopefully do the same with these. Um, but again, these are going to be shipped off today and hopefully within the next week or so, we might be looking at the, uh, the previous submission and we'll do a reveal then. All right. Y'all take care. Bye.